On behalf of Leftford Books, we welcome you to this conversation between Nihal Ahmed and Komita Dhanda. Uh, like most of you know, Leftford Books is an independent publishing house located in Shadipur, New Delhi. And we are delighted to share with you that Nihal's first book and a Leftward publication, Nothing Will Be Forgotten, has uh, received the prestigious Muzaffar Ahmed Memorial Award for 2022. <clears throat> Nihal Ahmed uh, is our author and uh, he's a doctoral student at the Academy of International Studies, Jamia Millia Islamia. And his research interests consist of Indian and world cinema, as well as migration studies. Komita, a dear friend and comrade, has been working as an actor, director, writer, and organizer with Jannatya Manch, a Delhi-based street theater group. Komita has also studied in Jamia, and she's also taught at the Lady Irwin College, University of Delhi. Uh, and currently, she's pursuing her PhD research in theater and performance studies at the School of Art and Aesthetics, Jawaharlal Nehru University. Welcome, guys. And now over to you, Komita. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Vinny. And uh, thank you, Leftward, for giving me this opportunity to talk to Nehal about his book. Uh, the book has a very special uh, connection with me also because it foregrounded how I looked at Jamia when I was a student several years ago. And since 2019, uh, how, or in fact, before that, as Nihal also mentions in the book, um, has changed, uh, responding to the current times. So I'm very glad and I'm very delighted, excited to have this uh, short conversation with Nihal. Um, as Vinny also said that the book, Nothing Will Be Forgotten, uh, is published by Leftward Books. And this is Nihal's first book that, uh, which is a kind of a first person account of the students protests that took place in Jamia Millia Islamia in 2019 against the Citizenship Amendment Act. Uh, and it has won this prestigious award as well. Uh, so Nihal, I'm actually going to keep it in a more conversation, conversational manner. Uh, I have read the book and it's quite inspiring in several ways. Uh, so, you know, I was thinking when I was reading the book that uh, when the protests start, emerged uh, in Jamia, you know, there were several viral videos. There were many people who were writing articles, write articles we saw in media, mainstream media, alternative media, activists were writing about it, experts were, ex were, they were writing about it, that what was going on in the university. So uh, to begin with, can you please, you know, like, Tell us, our audience, that what was the impulse behind uh, writing your own experience, being part of those protests, and you know later transforming it uh, into a book. So was it like a catharsis for you at that time, or you know why did you think that you need to put it in black and, and white what you were going through and other students were going through? First of all, I would like to thank everyone left for. Komita, Vini, Prabhasha, uh, for having me here. And I think uh, you, a question you asked, uh, I think you answered also that why I wrote this book. So basically, uh, two major things which uh, I believe, and that's why I wrote the book. Of course, one is catharsis, that I am a kind of not a very active a person, I was not on the front stage. I was a kind of observer there. Um, I'm, I'm a very good observer since like everywhere, not in, in political situation, in every situation. So I was observing things and I was part of that. I was seeing and sometimes participating also. But uh, what, when I saw all those news clips, all those media houses, all those, those uh, the coloring basically, uh, coloring Jamia into a very bad light. Uh, somewhere I felt like, no, I should write it. And I saw many books are com books were coming that time and nobody's from Jamia, those who wrote that book. So there was an urge in, in me that uh, I should write. Uh, what is the fact I have seen? I'm not going to uh, tell you the right and wrong or, or 
or or this side or that side, but I'll write what I have seen. That was the first thing I, I got. Though I, I, I was not having any idea of writing, I was not having any confidence of writing, not any good experience of writing, but that urge make me write. Second thing was catharsis. When I saw things were going into very bad way and, and a very uh, uh, pity, situation was very pitiful. And somewhere that was haunting me. And uh, I felt like to pour it out because I, I, as I said, I was not confident enough to write a book. I might be able to write a small article or something about what I feel. Uh, but I, that, that feeling, that that awfulness in, in, in me when I saw my university in that situation, I felt like right to just to pour it out also because that was COVID time. We all were stuck at home. So I think both the things were very true. Uh, uh, the, the reason behind my writing. So I was thinking about this, to you how much time it took to write this book? और जब आप लिख रहे थे तो obviously 2020 में कोविड आ गया था और जब आपने लिखना शुरू किया होगा तब तक कुछ मेमोरीज होंगी जो और डिस्टिंक्टिवली आपके ज़हन में रही होंगी but some memories also you know memories tend to fade also so when you were actually because I see in your book that you are describing each event date by date sometimes even time of the day sometimes that who was there you know who was the policeman who was the uh, student uh, although you have changed, you you write also in the end that for their safety, you have also changed the names. But you know, so how did you kind of come to writing such a precise account, what you have seen as you are saying? And how long did it take you to first reach the decision that I have to write and then you started writing it? Uh, basically, uh, my friend told me that I have, uh, like she keep telling me that I have an elephant memory. So I uh, remember things very clearly, very minutely. And uh, uh, that, I think that is the very uh, my USP of my writing. That's why this book has been possible because a testimonial need uh, uh, things which you have seen, uh, uh, like a very minute detail. So I just, uh, uh, in March, uh, my, like lockdown started and I, uh, I was at home and I started writing it and it finished in three months only. Uh, I guess uh, the idea of this book, uh, basically people asked me that because I, I, I'm not aware with any genre, any, any, any very specification of, of all this genre of the book. So people asked me that you should write like that, write like, like that, this and, and add like this, read this, but I refused to do that. Because I only believe that I'll write only that thing which I have seen, which which I have seen, and because I am a person who was part of that on a like a one person in the crowd, I was not in any leading position. So I whatever I observed, I just pour it out. So people ask me that if if you are writing such things and you do not have any authority, you are not in any position, so nobody will publish it. Also, um, so you have to make it either academy, make it a something, uh, uh, some someone's statement, something like that. So I refused to do that. And I believe that when I was writing, even if it's not published, I'll keep it for myself and I'll read it. So I think uh, that was the whole idea of writing such piece. And uh, I think when I, when I followed this pattern, later people told me, okay, this is your writing style. This is your genre. So when I started this, I was not having any idea. Later people, my teacher told me it's a testimonial writing. So I was just writing what I believe, what I have seen, or, or in a way, I, as I said, I was doing catharsis. I was just pouring it down uh, to, to relieve myself. And then this come out. So uh, were you worried a uh, little bit about when it will be published and when Leftward said that, okay, we'll publish it? Uh, and Leftward is known for publishing uh, these things. Uh, fortunately, we ha do have a publication house like that. Uh, were you worried about that there will be a backlash from uh, definitely from the fringes of the right wing or the right wing, but also from other eyewitnesses? Uh, you know, as your friends were saying that uh, this could be your memory and not other people's memory. Were you a little worried about those things? 
yeah of course i was worried and uh, mm. luckily um, nothing uh, like post book i didn't get anything like that uh, and uh, two thing i was worried like some fringe group might come and say that well, this is right and wrong or whatever uh, and that was very much expected and i was not worried at all for that i was i was clearly waiting but that couldn't happen luckily second thing like someone might contest my memory that okay you have seen this and but this is not my memory and yeah people ask me that you didn't mention this thing you didn't mention that thing so i keep telling that this is this book is me in that protest not about completely about that protest so where, whatever i am seeing wherever i am going i i i i did that and uh, to answer that uh, like to contest the memory of people yeah of course i i it it it, it is a kind of uh, people might not agree with my memory because they have seen something very different and i have encountered with something very different like even uh, when i was doing the editing part my friend was sitting with me so even he does not agree with me he said no i haven't seen this and i i didn't feel that so so i uh, completely agree that it is my memory and it, it is it might be different from other people lots of people disagree with me lots of people i heard that they keep saying that okay, okay this is not the very right uh, um, narrative or right presentation of of the whole event so i think this is a very healthy for me that people disagree to my work and i always encourage that if if you feel that this is not the right thing or not right representation so i i, I agree that there might be mistakes or or there are mistakes not there is not a question of might uh, but i also like uh, want people to write that if if you feel that this narrative is not proper so one should come out and write it something else so it would be great it it it, it would become rich in the sense of literature and then the narrative and the history of this moment so nihal uh, so you know like many people who were critical of the protest and they were claiming that you know these protests are uh, held by only by the muslims in the community and you know but we know that th that was not true there were many people from outside the muslim community outside jamia as you are also mentioning and we have witnessed it ourselves also uh, going to these protest sites people were coming to perform to you know they held langars and you know helping in whichever manner and they were not all of them were from the muslim community so these were the narratives which were floated by the mainstream media and the right wing uh basically with the idea that they wanted to polarize uh the citizens of delhi ki dekhiye aapke liye sadak band ho gayi hai ye ho gaya hai ambulance ruk gaya hai us tarah ki cheeze and who are doing this quote and quote muslims are doing this so in the context of your book how do you sort of differentiate uh these protests as an as act of politicization versus the act of polarization how do you kind of see these two uh things in the context of what you are writing i think this situation the question you ask is uh, can't be fit into black and white uh, because both the things were there there was a polarization also and uh, mainstream media and and the the things which which is in the discourse basically the people who are in the discourse the powerful discourse was heavily trying to polarize this and still they are telling and even many of people when i travel i meet and they ask that i'm from the university and uh, they 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 keep saying okay, okay this problem that problem so that polarization was there uh, and and is still there but uh, as you asked the other uh, factor of of the protest that that people were coming together and and and, and many like uh, because it's it's of course lead by muslims majority of the people are muslim because it's 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 a uh, uh, it's a muslim issue and all but there are other people also other community people are also and and i i don't think so any protest any movement will be such vibrant uh, with 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 a singular community or 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 a, or a, or one type of people or one uh, from people from one community or one caste so so i think the uh, the 
involvement of the students the involvement of the graffiti maker the involvement of the person who is the electrician because there was one electrician also so so one cannot restrict and it's not possible even to to imagine such huge movement uh, with with people of certain community or a particular singular community so i don't i like completely disagree and there were people from every community and they were basically i have seen a person uh, who was holding a bible so i asked him uh, why you are holding a bible you can come without bible also that if you are showing the solidarity so he said no i wanted to assert my identity that what i am and why i am here so so such things were there the langars were there the farmers came there and they stayed there for few days so i think uh, it, it, it was polarization was there and i think that is the uh, power of of that protest that despite being polarized so much by mainstream media this this plurality plurality helped to sustain this plurality helped to grow so uh... यू you नो know, एक जो सवाल मेरे जहन में बार बार आ रहा था वो और आता है मतलब ऐसा नहीं है कि सिर्फ किताब के जरिए ही लेकिन ये कि आप लिख रहे हैं अपनी किताब में कि 2019 के इस प्रोटेस्ट से पहले पैलेस्टाइन और इसराइल को लेकर भी जो है वो जामिया में प्रोटेस्ट हुए थे इनफैक्ट दैट वाज काइंड ऑफ द बिगनिंग ऑफ द ऑफ पोलिटिसाइजेशन ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स कम्यूनिटी and i was remembering that when i was in jamia some 15 17 years ago you know we used to talk among ourselves and with some of our teachers that politics kuch hota nahi tha jamia mein students politics kyunki elections nahi hote the students uh, organizations active nahi thi kuch nahi tha aur ab hame dikhta hai pichle 4 5 saal se ki ek uske andar ek nayi energy jo hai wo uh, wo aayi hai तो और ये ऐसे प्रोटेस्ट रहे हैं चाहे एंटी सी प्रोटेस्ट हो चाहे पैलेस्टीन इसराइल के मुद्दे के ऊपर प्रोटेस्ट किया हो जामिया स्टूडेंट्स ने विच आर नॉट डायरेक्टली स्टूडेंट्स ओन डिमांड्स इट्स नॉट अ डिमांड लाइक अ हॉस्टल यू नो इट्स नॉट अ डिमांड विच इज डायरेक्टली कंसर्न द स्टूडेंट कम्युनिटी सो वॉट अकॉर्डिंग टू यू इज द इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स मूवमेंट इन द इन द लार्जर फाइट फॉर डेमोक्रेसी एंड पीपल्स राइट्स आई थिंक Uh, india have seen in fact jamia is 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 part of a movement the uh, the birth of jamia is part of national movement yes that, that yeah you mention it in your book also yeah yeah because uh, aligarh was majorly supported by british and then gandhi ji have this idea that there should be a university which which shouldn't be part of that uh, that like students should be part of that institution so we should have our own institution so basically jamia started in aligarh only initial later it got shifted to delhi yes so i think uh, student is one community i think they have uh, they when they reach to university first thing which i believe that they have time and uh, it, because they don't have to do the 9 to 5 job apart uh, after and there is a sensitization when you come to university there is a there is a some sort of sens- sensitization and you realize that this is the wrong and after realizing that you have a time to to do something for that you have the time to 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 like change something and and that and that stage you believe that you can change because you you have a things around you which uh, kind of support kind of organizational support kind of a structure so student i think student community is the i think community which which always in i think many of the movement they come forward and and they participate across globe and i believe uh, that it's it's not about movement it's not about uh, political party or 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 i think every person i should have that intuition that if something is going odd or if something is is not right one should speak for it so i think that uh, need is very much there in our society uh, regardless of caste gender religion and race uh, so i think uh, but student community uh, is 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 kind of organized that that you need a platform also so i think that is why it's very important that student community come out and 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 because uh, uh, in, an individual also wanted to do uh, 
but without platform sometime it's, it's it doesn't work so in that sense i think uh, it should be there students should come out and and uh, they 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 talk things or or basically they negotiate more of in organized manner than others so i think that should be there uh nihal in your book uh, i mean it for me uh, when i was reading the book you know it has two very distinctive uh, parts and those parts are actually not divided into two parts but they are intermingled so uh, they are interspersed with each other so on one hand your book tells us the story which are really gut wrenching narratives about those dreadful nights in december 2019 what happened in jamia and what was happening uh, you know and how shaheen bagh became the site of protest and a symbol of protest and then the whole delhi was kind of protesting uh, and and the attack on the students community but while we are you know as a reader i was engaged with those narratives uh, that what actually happened i also as a reader came across poetry of sahir pash magdum uh, and you know even somebody like john elia and all your chapters begin with these uh, these uh, uh, poems so we see actually two juxtaposed images you know for example of this protest which was political but also cultural uh, you know the the image of the library so one image of the library is where police is attacking the students or asking them forcefully to march outside the library and on the other side we see savitri bai phule and fatima sheik uh, library uh, which was set up at shaheen bagh so in a way your book tries to capture this language of protest which was political and cultural so could you also uh, how do you see the impact of this changing language of protest in the coming you know uh, in the coming days but also in the current current times in uh, in the context of your book as i said that students are more organized than any other group and i think they have that platform for example uh, we have a student of fine arts also we have a student of architecture also uh, so so we have resource students have resources basically and uh, uh, that political culture is there that that the political language was there somewhere whether it is it is uh, 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 any form of protest whether it's in jnu whether it is in in, in kerala and uh, in in jadavpur university so that that political culture we have seen and student know that and, and especially after social media and you are also studying all those things how to shoot a film in mass com how to make a graffiti in in fine arts department so when we when we got that space when when student got that space to protest so the, usually what people do in protest that they do the the stage they do, give give the lecture they talk about right and wrong and all but when students were there uh, their creativity is there so they come out and and because there was, this protest was not something organized not lead by Uh, some uh, set of people so so everybody was free to do whatever they want or contribute or or not to participate or to study many people were just studying in the library they were not uh, they they don't have anything about it so when students come out they started contributing in in whatever ways they want and uh, so some people come out and do the so whatever they know they started doing for example graffiti making singing a dancing theater performance a kind of concert and and many things were there so i think this this change of political culture is 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 because of of i think uh, media is one of the very important thing and uh, i think this political culture uh, which which uh, jamia or or the students of jamia has been popularized is very important because it has been followed after because it was there it's it's it all this culture was there but but it was restricted to some place some university some city some some something like that but what jamia did jamia brought it out on the road jamia the students of jamia brought it out on the road and in a way they they make it public that anybody can use it anybody so so i think before that 
I haven't seen anywhere that people are writing their demand on the on the on the wall. And they were writing, but but with such beautiful poetry, with such beautiful graffiti, such beautiful portrait. So I think I think uh, that was a kind of contribution I I can say that Jamia did. And later it was followed in Farmers March also, and and all these slogans and and songs which has been used and and many songs resurfaced also that which was written fifty years, sixty years back. So I think this political culture uh, will 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 flourish, I guess, because uh, it 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 one more thing is very important that it give uh, like people opportunity to participate. Because on stage there is only one person who is speaking; the rest are not participating. They are just standing, mm. listening, and mm. kind of that kind of boring. And especially for such long protests that you can't listen. How much you listen? Same thing will be repeated. So people need to participate, and and I think that is the power of of that protest that people there was a space for people to participate. So I think that is very important. I am also very. Uh, I'm. That's actually a question that I'm very interested and curious about personally. Uh, you mentioned in your book uh, quite a few times about your grandfather and you know the conversations, or you you mention your family uh, more than once in the book, and the kind of atmosphere you had. And ये भी हुआ कि जामिया के अंदर जब हमने देखा कि महिलाएं सड़क पे उतर के आईं और जैसा आपने भी कहा और हम जानते हैं कि वो एक कम्युनिटी उसको लीड कर रही थी लेकिन अलग अलग तरह की महिलाएं और ऐसी महिलाएं जो कभी अपने घरों से बाहर नहीं निकली थी वो सड़क के ऊपर बैठी हुई थी अपने बच्चों के साथ भी बैठी हुई थी और रात रात भर वो लोग वहाँ पे बैठे रहते थे तो हम अक्सर बात करते थे हम दोस्त और आपस में कि, कि ये महिलाएँ जब ये प्रोटेस्ट जब भी ख़त्म होगा उस समय तो पता नहीं था कब ख़त्म होगा लेकिन जब भी ये प्रोटेस्ट ख़त्म होगा और जब ये महिलाएँ घर के में वापस जाएंगी तो जो इनके फैमिली रिलेशनशिप्स हैं वो वैसे नहीं रहेंगे क्योंकि ये अब दहलीज के बाहर कदम रख चुकी हैं इनको मालूम है कि ये संभव है और एक अपने से आउटसाइड जो कंसर्न्स हैं उसको लेके इन्होंने कदम रखा है तो आपने मैं ये जानना चाह रही थी कि यू नो हाउ डिड वेमेन इन योर फैमिली बिकॉज यू मैंशन योर फैमिली मोर देन वंस इन द बुक उन लोगों का क्या रिएक्शन था इन uh, प्रोटेस्ट को देखकर क्या बातें होती थी उनसे किस तरह के कॉन्वर्सेशन होते थे uh, महिलाओं के बीच में uh, आपके परिवार के अंदर इमीडिएट फैमिली में अगर आप थोड़ा बताएं तो एक जो चीज हुई कोविड ने बहुत कुछ ब्रेक किया uh, वो जो एक मोमेंटम था एक पोलिटिजेशन था एक अंडरस्टैंडिंग थी कोविड के वजह से वो ब्रेक हुआ फिर लाइक लोग ये चीज में बात करने लगे कि हम बचेंगे क्योंकि नहीं बचेंगे हम उनसे दोबारा मिलेंगे कि नहीं मिलेंगे बट जो एक शुरू में लोगों को पता नहीं मेरी फैमिली हो या मतलब मैं एक लोअर मिडिल क्लास फैमिली से आता हूँ या मेरे रिलेटिव्स हों जो दूसरे शहरों में भी थे वो भी मुझे पूछते थे क्योंकि जामिया वजह के सेंटर तो वो लोग पूछते थे कि ये चीज चल रहा है क्या क्या है हमें जान मतलब उनको ये तक नहीं पता था उनको जाना है कि नहीं जाना है ये एक बहुत बड़ा सवाल था तो शुरू में उनके अंदर वो समझ ही नहीं थी कि ये क्या है धीरे 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 चीजों को तो एक एक बहुत ही अच्छे तरह का एक पॉलिटिसाइजेशन हुआ शाहीन बाग एक्सेप्शन था वहां वहां के इर्द के लोग एक अलग माहौल वहां लोगों को मतलब बहुत अलग था मगर बाकी जो लोग थे बाकी जगहों में बहुत से लोग कभी गए भी नहीं साइड्स पे जहां भी प्रोड्यूस बट उनमें एक पॉलिटिसाइजेशन हुआ उनको एक एक बात समझ में आई वो डिसग्री मुझे लगा पहली बार मैंने अपने माँ को देखा कि वो किसी पॉलिटिकल चीजों पर डिसग्री कर रही थी कि वरना वो डिसग्रीमेंट तो राइट right ही नहीं था कि आप लाइक अ वोमेन विल डिसग्री और वो एक एक ओपिनियन देगी स्पेशली पॉलिटिकल थिंग वो बोल दिया क्या वोट दे दीजिए आई थिंक दैट इज वेरी कॉमन टू फीमेल जेंडर ऑफ दिस रिलीजन तो वो एक चेंज था अनफॉर्चुनेटली कोविड ने उस चेंज को बिल्कुल खत्म किया बट हाँ अभी भी एक पोलिटिसाइजेशन है लाइक दे हैव अ पोलिटिकल वॉइस वो वो अब अब न्यूज देख के या फिर बिकॉज ऑफ एवरीबडी एंड इन कोविड ऑल्सो दिस ऑल दिस इन्फॉर्मेशन हैज बिकम वेरी हैंडी बिकॉज ऑफ यूट्यूब मोबाइल फोन एवरीबडीज है मोबाइल फोन सो 
uh, I keep seeing uh, many people. I, I can't imagine that they watch news on YouTube in Hindi news, and uh, they 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 Google it. I like they scroll it and and like for example, Twin Tower, uh, that the demolition of Twin Tower. I think I think people. I I, I cannot imagine they will ever watch the news. They were watching. they were searching and and watching on the youtube because youtube also suggest you so people realized and they watch so i think that politicization started and uh, because of covid it, it got break but still some sort of politicization happened uh, there was a difference pre and post uh, in that protest uh ye mera ek tarah se aakhri sawal hi hai nihal is conversation mein ki aapki jo kitab hai wo jo पहले भी जैसे कहा कि जो मेन स्ट्रीम मीडिया का नैरेटिव है उसके उसको चैलेंज करती है उसमें जो दिखाया जा रहा था उसको चैलेंज करती है और कहीं पे आप अपनी किताब में मेंशन करते हैं कि एक आपने ऐसी जगह स्पेस था जिसमें आपने लोगों को कहा कि आइए और लिखिए जहाँ पे आप रेजिस्टेंस थ्रू आर्ट की बात कर रहे हैं तो मैं अंत में ये जानना चाह रही थी आपसे कि एज एन ऑथर अब आपकी पहली किताब आ गई है और उम्मीद है कि और किताबें आएंगी आपकी कि ये राइटिंग फॉर रिवोल्यूशन जिसके बारे में हम कहते हैं वो आज के टाइम पे कितना इम्पॉर्टेंट है ऐसे नैरेटिव्स को बाहर निकालना जो कि अनुभव के भी नैरेटिव हैं हो सकता है मेरा अपना अनुभव ना हो लेकिन मैंने अपने आसपास उसको देखा हो हाउ इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर यू एज एन ऑथर इज दिस आइडिया ऑफ राइटिंग अबाउट रिवोल्यूशन like your book does but also for revolution like so many graffiti artists and cultural activists and uh, poetry uh, po- people who were writing poetry and so many others so how important aapko kya lagta hai ki kitna zaruri hai aaj ke samay mein isme do cheeze hain jo mujhe samajh mein aati hain jaise aapne word use kiya revolution to mujhe lagta hai ki kai baar hum bahut se log us word ko nahi jaante हमने हमने यूनिवर्सिटी में आके जाना पर बहुत से लोग इस तरह की पेंटिंग इस तरह की चीजें लिख रहे हैं बता रहे हैं फॉर uh, एग्जांपल मेरे होम टाउन में एक ज्योग्राफी टीचर हैं जिन्होंने uh, कुछ लड़कियों को स्पोर्ट्स खेलना सिखाया और आज उन्होंने एक बहुत बड़ा क्लब बनाया हुआ एकेडमी हो चुकी है वो लड़कियां छोटे से गाँव से यूएस और रशिया और इस तरह की कंट्री जाके खेलती है कोई उनको सपोर्ट नहीं है सब कुछ खुद से कर रहे अब थोड़ा सा तो आई थिंक उनको शायद वो शब्द यूज नहीं कर रहे होंगे रेवल्यूशन है बट मुझे जहां से दिखता है वो रेवल्यूशन है उनको गुस्सा आया कि यार इतना अच्छा टैलेंट है हमें यूज करना चाहिए तो उन्होंने यूज किया तो इसमें दो चीजें हैं या तो आपका एक एक इंटरेस्ट भी है मेरा मतलब मैं या फिर ए, मैं ये मानता हूं कि मैं लिखूं क्योंकि इससे रेवोल्यूशन आएगा और रेवोल्यूशन को मैं नेरेटिव दू और, और मैं इसको रिकॉर्ड कर ये भी एक बहुत से लोगों का ये होगा कि मुझे रिकॉर्ड करना है दूसरा एक ये है कि नहीं मुझे इसलिए लिखना है कि मुझे अजीब लग रहा है मुझे एक तरह से गुस्सा आ रहा है और एंड ऑफ कैन यूज़ वर्ड का तो कि यार मुझे कुछ समझ नहीं आ रहा चलो मैं लिखता हूँ तो इसमें एक जो मुझसे लोग पूछते हैं मैं कहीं भी जाता हूँ बात करने तो लोग मुझसे इस तरह सवाल पूछते हैं जैसे कि मैं सबका जवाब मेरे पास है तो दरअसल मुझे ये समझ में आता है कि मैं ये कर सकता हूँ तो मैं वो कर रहा हूँ मतलब एक रोल है और वही रोल मुझे आ, मुझे वही चीज आती है मैं उस मैं लिखने के अलावा कुछ नहीं कर रहा इनफैक्ट इस लिखने से पहले मुझे पता भी नहीं था कि मैं लिख पाऊंगा पर मैंने खुद को रिलीव करने के लिए पोर इट आउट किया वो आ गया निकल के मतलब तो आई थिंक ये एक बहुत बड़ा चीज है जो मैं मैं हमेशा अपनी बात में बहुत सेंट्रल रखता हूँ कि ये एक रोल है और सबका रोल इम्पोर्टेंट है जो लोग आगे खड़े थे या फिर जो लोग पानी पिला रहे थे उनका भी रोल उतना ही इम्पोर्टेंट है जितना मेरा और उन और ये टाइम टाइम की बात है कब किसको कब पूछा जाएगा कब कौन सा रफेस्ट होगा एक न्यूज शायद आप लोगों ने देखी होगी उन दिन इंडियन एक्सप्रेस ने किया था कि स्टूडेंट जो थे शाम में झाड़ू लगाते थे सड़कों पर और सारी सड़क को क्लीन किया जाता था तो वो एक रोल है वो वो सब नहीं कर सकते मैंने मैंने देखा है मेरे सीनियर थे जो जो पोस्ट डॉक स्कॉलर थे थे वो उनको मैं देखता था कि वो झाड़ू लगाते थे तो वो उनका एक रोल था मेरा जो रोल था मैंने वो किया ट्रैफिक मैनेजमेंट का भी एक, एक रोल होता था उसमें तो वो भी एक करना होता है तो मैं हमेशा 
मैं ये मानता हूँ कि सबका एक रोल है और सबको अपना रोल प्ले करना चाहिए तो बाद में ये चीजें जब हम आई थिंक बाहर निकलते हैं जब चीजें आ जाती हैं तो हम उनको रेवल्यूशन या कथा से सी बहुत बड़े शब्द हैं वो हम दे देते हैं पर मैं इस रोल प्ले में बहुत बिलीव करता हूँ कि मुझे एक किरदार है वो निभाना सर्टनली सर्टनली दैट्स अ वेरी गुड नोट टू एंड ऑल्सो कि हम मतलब मैं यू नो लाइक अगर मैं आर्टिस्ट हूँ तो क्या मेरा ही रोल सबसे बड़ा है वहाँ जाके सॉलिडारिटी एक्सप्रेस करने का uh, या सिर्फ वहाँ जाना और वहाँ खड़े होना uh, अपने साइलेंस के साथ वो भी रोल uh, जो है वो हो सकता है तो एंड आई थिंक ऑल दीज थिंग्स दैट यू आर सेंग are captured in some way or the other in in your book uh, so thank you very much for uh, talking to us talking thank to you. leftward uh, for leftward book and i really hope and i highly recommend that uh, people get to read this this book and uh, you know it reaches out to as many people i think it's a kind of a uh, starting point for students specifically who are just about or who are kind of you know finding themselves uh, in a certain position and trying to take positions in their universities colleges uh, also within their families uh, so i think in that context this book is also extremely extremely important so thank you very much and mm-hmm. uh, thanks leftward for organizing this conversation